Good morning. Good morning. Russ is not paying attention. No, I was not paying attention. Even though I said ready, set, go. I got distracted by something that was wet on the counter. I'm like, why is that wet? What was that? And I realized it was the uh, bowl full of salt. Oh, salt my salt water. water from washing fruit. Washing, yep. yeah, your apples. Washing. Absolutely. Threw me off. Okay. Well, you're back now. You're ready? You I'm focused? ready. Got my loop back. It threw me for a loop. Got it back. Okay. <laughs> How was your workout? My workout was good. Yeah, what did you do? Although it was... Uh, Hard to get started, but once I did, I was good. Yeah. Today was I did my 10 minute cardio blitz. With your legs? With my leg day, wow. which is good. Then I did legs, because she just said that. <laughs> and I also did um, some calves, as it was what I was doing when you came in and said, okay, what are you doing? We're ready to go. We're ready to go. All right, that's good. Yeah. Um, what did I do today? Hey, what did you do today? I did arms today. Ah. <laughs> Think about that. What did I do today? I did arms today, and I did some core. So, the, but the, because it, the temperature is being weird, it's still cold in the gym, but it's warm outside. So the floor in the gym was wet. So I ended up doing um, my core exercises in the hallway where it was warmer and the floor was dry. Because my feet were sliding. Yeah, that's which is unusual. obviously a problem. Uh, that's strange. So, got that taken care of. What are you having for breakfast? What's the matter? No, we didn't get... We didn't get raisins. Yeah. Oh. We were at Costco yesterday. I was coming home from something at night, an event. And we said, what are the things we need from Costco? Well, one of them was raisins, and one of the things we didn't get was raisins. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll have uh, cranberries this instead. This is enough for you. Um, what are you having for breakfast? Uh, with, ra with your raisins. <laughs> so I'm having my oatmeal. I know, you're shocked. Um, Pat asked how much animal powder we use. Um, about a teaspoon. Yes, a teaspoon a morning. What do you have for uh, oatmeal? Go I ahead. Have oatmeal with my hemp seed, my amla powder, uh, raisins, uh, Chia seeds, blueberries, bananas, uh, spirulina, and raisins. I said that probably three times already. He's having some raisins, guys. <laughs> and blueberries. <laughs> um, I am having oatmeal, but I'm not going to put um, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Oh, I had today. those too. He has those. I'm not putting those in today because, uh, I don't know, just don't feel like it. Well, I'm not. Kind of what I did the other day. Just didn't feel like it. Yeah. So I did I did put my oatmeal out, um, steel cut oats last night, and I remembered to put the chai seeds in it because people have been saying, um, you know, soak it with it. So I did. We'll see. I don't know. It doesn't look any different. You mean the chia seeds? Yes. Oh, dread. I'm never going to say that word right. It's a sad state of affairs. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so we'll stop talking about food now. Yeah, okay. well, we'll stop talking about breakfast and we'll talk about dairy. I wanted to talk about dairy a little bit. I know I've mentioned to you guys before that um, cheese is the number one source of saturated fat in the American diet. It is. And it's interesting because when I... Why don't we have two open? Because one wasn't full of empty. I oh. thought you might have used that up, but that's all right. Sorry. Okay, I, I didn't realize. It's all good. Anyway, dairy. We're having a distracted day today. <laughs> um, so cheese is the number one source of saturated fat in the American diet. Right. And when I talk about us being whole food plant-based, one thing that people say a lot is, oh, but I love cheese. Mm. And I know I've mentioned to you before that cheese is addictive. There, yeah, we and, love cheese. Yeah, we do. Or we did, I we guess. Did. It doesn't yeah. love us anymore, for right. sure. But, and we, I talked a little bit about how the reason that, that dairy is so addictive is because there's a protein in it. I think it's a protein. It might be an enzyme. I have to look that up. But there's something in it that makes it um, hit Case, the... Casein. It's not the casein, no. I don't think. Because what it does is it, it hits the centers of your brain that are the pleasure centers. It releases dopamine. Uh, okay. And it does that because it's designed to make sure that the baby calf keeps coming back to get right. more milk. Because right. that's what creates survival. So... Milk has, and it's true of breast milk in humans, it's true right. of breast milk across the board and for all um, mammals. The challenge with it is, is that, well, hey, Geneva! Geneva. I just seen that, it made me laugh. She's here, yay! Yeah, look, I'm catching alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, it's designed to make sure the baby calf comes back to get more milk so it stays alive. The problem with it is, is that it has so much more of that substance in it than um, human breast milk does. Four that times. It actually is super addictive to the right. human brain, especially because we're eating it when we're not actually babies. Right. So there's no, and there's no regulation. It's not like our mother has X amount and that's all you get because that's all there is right now. You have right. to wait till there's more. 
dairy is something that is available carte blanche. Yeah, it's unlimited. You can eat as much of it as you want, right. but the fact that it's got this addictive, literally addictive property to it makes it really hard to get away from dairy. Right. Excuse me, one second. What's, oh, the water? Yeah. Um, so when, I, when we talk to people about kind of reducing the amount of saturated fat in their, in their diets, which it directly relates to the amount of cheese they're taking in, obviously it's also in meat products. And that's, the, that's you know, a place you're gonna get a lot of it as well, is in meat products. But when I say, you know, let's talk about reducing the amount of dairy you're taking in, you think I was asking people to like give up their right arm. It's amazing how hard it is for people to think about you know giving up their dairy. Yes. And then there's other issues with, I know, I have a mess going on here. Thank you. He wants a place to put my hot water and I have the whole place like full of stuff. Right. Um, the other issue with dairy products is the hormone that's in it. The amount of growth, growth hormone that's in, um, in dairy. Because, you know, they're, they've created, so I, you guys know I grew up with cattle. Like I grew up um, a farm girl. So milk cows are called Holsteins. That's the breed of cow they are, the black and white ones, which makes me laugh because there's a certain fast food restaurant that uses Holsteins as their, um, you know, eat more chicken. And I'm like, those are milk cows. They're not even beef cows, but that's a whole aside. And that um, just grinds your gears. It does grind my gears. <laughs> like, use a beef cow. But anyway, um, Holsteins are, were bred to produce way more milk than one calf could ever um, drink. And then on top of that, they're given hormones to increase their milk production even further. And all of that hormone ends up in the milk that we drink, unless you're getting organic milk. Right. That so, one comment you'll have to answer. I'll answer it, yeah. I, yeah. I can't, I didn't read it right now, but I absolutely will respond to it as soon as um, we get off and I can read it and respond to right. it appropriately. Right. Um, but the point being, the hormone that is in it is causes um, early development in young girls right. and so that they end up menstruating sooner and then there's the whole issue of that e the more estrogen estrogen that women are exposed to over their lifetime the higher their risk of reproductive cancers is right. and so if you start menstruating earlier and then you you're taking in a whole lot of dairy which keeps your that estrogen level up and you menstruate longer so right. it, it staves off your uh, menopause it, they, I saw something, was it um, the China study we heard it in, where they said it adds nine to 10 years China of menstruation yes. to every woman's life. Right. And that's nine to 10 years of extra estrogen that your body is exposed to over the course of your lifetime. Right. And, and obviously that hormone's not good for men either, right. clearly. <laughs> and did you talk about the casein, which is also- I haven't talked about okay. casein. You're getting there, I'm not gonna- No, go ahead. Oh. So, you brought it um, up, you talk about well, it. Well, I mean, it's just that, that the casein, which is found in it's dairy. It's the milk protein. Right, is one of the most carcinogenic proteins that your body can take in. More carcinogenic than, in general. Carcinogenic in general. Um, so more than regular meat or, or beef or uh, pork or fish or chicken. And so what does that mean? It means that basically you are putting a carcinogenic in your body that, what does it want to do? It wants to turn into cancer. So, and if you want to, if you want to see the science about that, I would highly recommend that you look at um, Dr. T. Colin Campbell's mm -hmm. uh, research that he did on casein, where he he talks about how you can expose, um, and he did it with rats because they have right. a short I was life. Say, that's the rat thing. That's the rat study. We've talked about it before, where he exposed rats to a known cancer-causing agent, and then he either fed them really low casein protein, five percent of their diet, right. or a high level of casein uh, protein, 20% of their diet. Now, it is not uncommon for us as humans to take in 20% okay. animal protein in our diets as at all. Norm. Like as that's just norm. normal. Yeah. So usually when they um, when they talk about studies, they do it in such extreme um, amounts Ratios, that it's, yeah. it's hard to compare it to humans. Mm -hmm. But in this case, this particular study was really about this is how much humans take in. And what he found was at the 20% level, which is a normal intake of animal protein for humans, cancer growth progressed right. aggressively into tumors. Whereas at the 5% level, <coughs> it didn't. And so he actually then studied it. Is it the same if you take in 20% of plant protein? And it's not. not. Right. So only animal protein, in this case right. specifically casein, um, effects that way. So I thought I wanted to talk to you guys about dairy specifically because 
there's and there's a lot of environmental reasons. I know Laura, I saw you popped on here and, and she talks a lot about, you know, the pus that's in milk and just how gross it is and how hard it is and on the animals. But for us, while I'm, I'm just as glad to not have that in my diet, right. for me, it's much more about the health benefits and, and risks of, of taking in milk right. products and right. dairy products. They're just really not, not right, right. For And, and again, body. as we've said before, oh, the thing to keep in mind is that cow's milk is meant for calves, baby calves. It's not meant for human consumption. Uh, breast milk from a female is meant for human consumption. And, and everything... only until you're like... Two, yeah, three. As, as, as in your infant ages, yes. Um, and the um, everything in cow's milk is like four times. It's four times more carcinogenic. It's four, you know, it's just it's just not good for us. Right. It, it's just so. not good. I mean, that's the bottom line. Right. right. And I, you know what? I was one of those people. I used to live on quinoa and dairy products. I always had sour cream, cottage cheese, regular cheese, milk in my fridge. I mean, I lived on that stuff. Dr. Campbell, who's the one who did this study was raised on a dairy farm. Yeah. So he was raised eating cheese, drinking a lot of milk, and he's the one that's come out and saying, stay away from dairy. He drank, He said he drank two quarts of milk a day. A day. As a kid, yeah. growing up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's just fascinating stuff. And the thing about the rat uh, study, which is showing up in a lot of the documentaries, they talk about it in a lot of the documentaries that are on our website. Um, if you go to the resources page. And, and this isn't like kind of, sort of, like if you compare, this is... 100% they die and 0% as they far die, as they right. die. So it's like they all live or all die and there's no in between, which is fascinating. And another thing they were able to do in that study is turn the cancer on and off by lowering or raising the uh, casein, which is also fascinating. Right. Basically, when they raised, when the rats were at 20% and they were developing like liver cancers and all that, they would give them 5% and then turn the cancer off. And it's just. It's shocking. It's shocking how powerful yeah. it really is. It really is. Yeah. And I think the other thing, too, is, you know, obviously we were advocates of just don't take in dairy. It's right. not good for you. The protein's not good for you. It's not a good choice. But if you're at, if you're not at a point where you're ready to give it up, you know what? We understand that, and we're, we're not judgmental about that. But I would say I would highly encourage you, please at least eat organic. Right. Because then you're avoiding the the hormones and just the other yick that they yeah, add. Right. And Laura, Laura makes a good point. She said she wished she would have known that when she went vegetarian back in 1987. And the thing about vegetarians, although they will be generally more healthy than, than you standard know, American standard diet, American diet they do take in a lot of dairy. I mean, that's where they think that that's where they get most of their protein from. Right. So they eat a lot of cheese and, and milk and yogurts and all the, you know, excuse me, <coughs> lovely things that... And when we talk about, you know, staying away from dairy, the question we often get, and we've talked about calcium specifically before, but the question we get is, oh my God, where am I going to get my calcium? My doctor told me to eat yogurt for calcium. Yogurt has a whole separate issue because it's loaded with sugar, but we're not talking about that right now. You can get plenty of calcium by eating, you know, plants, green leafy Especially vegetables. Especially the dark green leafy vegetables, yep. yeah. And it's in black seed. It's uh -huh. like, I mean, there's just, there's a lot of calcium in plants. Right. And the other thing is, is when you reduce your protein intake, your animal protein intake, not your protein intake, your animal protein intake, your body doesn't need as much calcium. Right. So if it's, it's kind of counterproductive to say, eat this animal-based protein that has calcium in it because you need calcium, but the protein that it's in it requires calcium to process. And what was Dr. Greger saying, that little thing we heard coming home from the gym today you were playing, where he says the number one source of calcium in this country is milk. Yeah, right? because that's what and people do. And he know. talks about the side effects of, of drinking milk, which yeah. are, we we're telling you about. Them. And he talks about, or you can get calcium from plants, and the side effects of calcium from plants is good health. You know, increased fiber, you know, increased vitamins and minerals, you know. All the positive things. All the positive yeah. things. And so. Laura makes the point there's calcium in beans. And we yes. beans are great for you anyway. Just yes. eat them in general. Yes. I mean, uh, calcium's in a lot of plants. It's, it's, it's abundant in plants. Yeah. Um, and the thing about when you get nutrients from plants is you can't overdose. When you take supplements, especially in oil-based supplements, you can absolutely overdose. Right. You can take too many and cause yourself health problems. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, eat plants until your stomach can't take any and you're not going to get any overdoses of it. The worst anything. you're going to get is a tummy ache from exactly. eating too much food. <laughs> exactly. So it's definitely very, not only possible, but it's so practical to get everything you need, the nutrients you need from eating plants. Right. And it's just healthier because dairy is just not, I know my system can't take dairy and it, that happened yeah. 
way before I ever went plant-based. I didn't realize how badly my system was responding to dairy till I stopped eating it. Right, and that's the thing, you don't know because you just think it's normal life. I mean, what? How many times have we heard people say that, oh, you know, or even your doctor told you, hey, you're getting old, you have to expect these things. No. Turns out, no. You don't. <laughs> it's not age. You do if you're on the standard American diet or the Western diet. Yes, you do have to expect these things to happen through your life. Um, you know, um, overweight, um, um, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, uh, possible amputation if you get diabetes type 2. Um, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. High cholesterol. You know, high cholesterol. Um, not your body not being able to heal properly. You know, it just and the list goes on and on and on and on. So, but it's actually not age; it's diet. It's diet, and the thing is, we're not saying this. so. We agree with this, right? Uh, let's make that clear. All these things we we're tell not you, making this up. <laughs> we agree with it. We're not making it up. This is all done based on the information that we have found out through, and the main doctors. And you're finding a couple others now, but the main court of doctors that we're using are Dr. Gregor, Dr. McDougal, Dr. T. Uh, T Colin Campbell. Campbell. Um, who am I missing? Esselstein. And Dr. Esselstein. Yeah, and there's one them. more Dr. Ornish. And then now she's found out Dr. Ornish. Um, and then also, which is also another good source, if you're not ready to go completely plant-based and you want to understand how can I make myself healthier by limiting other things, look at um, in defense of food. Um, which, which is, he's actually a reporter. He's a reporter. He, he does a good job of, does, of reporting on the facts. Right, right. And his whole thing, his whole premise is, uh, and that's where we get the whole thing. Well, he says, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. And that's where we get that from, is, is for the general public that's not ready to go 100% plant-based, mm -hmm. to eat real food, in other words, not processed foods. Right. Um, not too much, because if you eat too much, you're going to, you know... And the truth be told, you can't eat too many plants. If you're just on plants, you can't eat too much. But you can certainly eat too much if you're eating, um, you know, less of steak or less of pork yeah. or less of, you know, the dairy or whatever. Um, so you can still eat too much. And then mostly plants. And it's, it's a documentary that's on Netflix... Do we have, I think we have it on our resources page, don't we? We have, I, we mentioned it, but I think it's... Um, you think it's a Netflix I think it's a Netflix documentary. I've read the book. So. Yeah, um, but if you go to our, our website, which is rnrjourney.com, so the hashtag that I have on here, rnrjourney.com, we have a resource page, and at the top it has food, like all this stuff that we put in our oatmeal. Right. And then if you scroll down underneath that, it has the books we read and the documentaries we mention and the doctors. And, and if you're a member, you have access to my notes and quotes from when I watch these things and read these books and I take notes if right. you become a member. Right. So you don't have to take our word for it. Um, you're welcome to. That's why we share it. So you don't have to do all the research we've done. Mm -hmm. But if you're interested in knowing, well, do they know what they're talking about? We are really excited if you want to right. read the tomes of books. And some of them are big books yes, they that, really are. Are, that and, we read. And, and if you have research you want to share with us, please do. Uh, just keep in mind that a lot of research out there, when you when you find out how the research was done, a lot of times it's sponsored by Big Food or it's sponsored by the Dairy Association. If McDonald's sponsors something, it's yeah, probably it, not It's probably not something you want to share with us because we will tell you that. No, they can. I'll yeah. just tell them it's not, you know. Yeah, I, I know. I guess I'm just trying to avoid the whole... I'm happy to have those conversations. Yeah. I'm really good at, at conflict resolution. I've taught right. it for a long time. <laughs> right, right. Um, but, you know, as T. Colin Campbell says, that um, there's a lot of research out there that's not validated. That's not, not peer reviewed. Not peer reviewed. Or um, sponsored by someone who's looking for a specific right, outcome. Right, exactly. And so we try to stay away from those. Yeah. We want we want non biased research. Exactly. So the, I guess the bottom line being Dairy is not a healthy choice. I know it's addictive. We know why it's addictive. Yeah. I know it's hard to give up. I struggled with it myself. I still sometimes on Facebook I'll see videos. I saw one yesterday where it was, you know, cheese and chicken and spinach and all creamy and I was like, wow, oh, that looks yummy. And my stomach was like, do not put that in you here. Put that in your, yeah, you I will like frown if you put that in here. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So that's our that's our thoughts about dairy. If you have something specific you'd like us to talk talk about, we're happy to do that. Just let us know. You can send me a private message. Right. You can, you know, tag me and stuff. I appreciate all of you. I just saw Wendy popped on. Those of you who post stuff and tag us, that's awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate that yep. a lot because it helps me keep, stay informed and stay on top of what's in the news right now since I don't watch TV. Um, Which so, you're not going to get the right stuff on TV. No, but it's nice to know what people are talking yeah. about so that we can, you know, counteract that nonsense. Um, but yeah, also keep in mind if you're local that we are speaking at an event on the evening of the 2nd at the Week Natural Food product. Store yeah. in Newark. So if you're local and you're available on the 2nd, we would love for you to come by. It's a free event to attend. That's... And their vegan chef is going to be making tasting stuff to right. try. Did you say what time it was? 
uh, six o'clock in the evening on the second right. at the natural food store. Um, and if you're getting value from these, please do like and share. That's how we get to reach a larger audience and right. get to make a bigger difference, and, and, and that's our goal. Right, and go to our um, the R and R Journey uh, page on Facebook and like there, like our page. Mm, like our R and R Journey uh, page. If you have the time, mosey on over to YouTube and like our page <laughs> there as well. That'd be awesome. Come to our website. We come would like our, that. Come to our website. Uh, give us feedback because we're trying to improve it each and every day. Something you don't see or you'd like to see, let us know. We have some things coming, such as our workout routines on video. Um, we will plan on sharing. We're still working on figuring out the, the um, Details. logistics of yeah. that. Um, so when that will be happening in the future. Maybe we can find something close to you, Laura. We can, you know, drive down and I can, my sister lives down there. Maybe we can right. do an event down there by you, you know, yeah. over we, the summer. We have the, we, we tend to have, we say our range is from DC to New York that we're willing to go. And then if you can make a loop, you know, a circle, or at least a, and half, a moon, half moon, because we're not going to go in the ocean. <laughs> I can tell you, I can promise you, I'm not going, He's in, the not ocean going in the ocean to do a talk. No cruise ships for us. No, no thank you. <laughs> so, um, I didn't put my banana in. No, you have to do I that. I have to do that. Okay. So, I think that's all we have to like keep you about today. Right. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll come up with an interesting subject. If you have an interesting subject, let me know. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. And so with that, we will say, eat real food. Not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, Have guys. a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. That was a fun